In the world of cryptocurrency trading, where fortune are made and lost in the blink of an eye, a tale of intrigue and controversy has unfolded. This is the story of Sam Bankman Fried and Alameda Research, a once prominent trading firm, and the allegations of misconduct that have rocked the crypto community. Join us as we delve into the details of this gripping saga that sheds light on the complex and often murky world of digital assets. Sam Bankman Fried's trading firm, Alameda Research, began covertly tapping into FTX customer funds shortly after the crypto exchange's establishment, as revealed by Gary Wang, a former college roommate and close associate of Bankman Fried. Wang disclosed in Manhattan Federal Court on Friday that in 2019, he received instructions to allow Alameda to have a negative balance on FTX, combined with a substantial line of credit from the exchange. This effectively allowed Alameda to access customers' funds without their consent. Wang emphasized that the funds used to maintain Alameda's negative balance belonged to FTX customers, who had not granted permission for such use. This arrangement allowed the trading firm to effectively withdraw unlimited amounts from FTX. Interestingly, a secret borrowing facility exclusively for Alameda was activated on the same day, July 31, 2019 when Bankman Fried publicly assured FTX users via Twitter that Alameda's accounts were treated like any other on the exchange. Remarkably, this unique borrowing facility was available only to Alameda's accounts from that date until FTX's eventual collapse in 2022. During this period, Alameda's line of credit was increased multiple times, eventually reaching as much as $65 billion. When Wang inquired about the final credit increase, Bankman Fried expressed approval. Wang's testimony, which came after his guilty plea for fraud and cooperation with prosecutors following FTX's collapse, presents a significant challenge for the 31 year old Bankman Fried. The charges he faces, including wire fraud and money laundering, carry severe penalties, potentially amounting to decades in prison. He maintains his innocence with his defense arguing that he acted in good faith without any intent to defraud. Wang also described how Bankman Fried and his inner circle scrambled to determine the precise amount owed to FTX customers as crypto prices plummeted in the spring of 2022. Despite knowing that Alameda owed approximately $11 billion to FTX, Bankman Fried instructed the trading firm CEO, Caroline Ellison, to make loan repayments demanded by third-party lenders. Ellison is expected to testify following Wang's completion of testimony. Previously, another former FTX employee, Adam Yadidia, recounted a conversation in a luxurious Bahamian resort where Bankman Fried conceded that the exchange was no longer bulletproof. The court also heard from an FTX investor who was assured that Alameda had no special access to the exchange, as well as from an FTX customer who traded on the platform under the belief that their deposits were secure. Gary Wang, originally from China, moved to the U.S. at the age of seven and grew up in Minnesota. He left his job at Google to co-found Alameda with Bankman Fried in 2017, working closely with his friend until their business empire crumbled in late 2022. Wang recounted their high school meeting and shared living arrangements at MIT, emphasizing that he deferred to Bankman Fried when business disagreements arose. During his testimony, Wang maintained a forward gaze, disregarding his former friend as he exited the courtroom. Bankman Fried remained stoic, never turning to acknowledge Wang. The two avoided eye contact throughout the proceedings. Additionally, Wang revealed that Bankman Fried instructed him to allocate several hundred million dollars in losses incurred by a prominent FTX customer to Alameda's account due to the relative opacity of the trading firm's financial statements compared to FTX's public balance sheet. As we conclude our exploration of the Sam Bankman Fried and Alameda research saga, we're left with more questions than answers. The crypto industry, known for its rapid evolution and unpredictability, continues to be a breeding ground for both innovation and controversy. The fate of Sam Bankman Fried and the implications of his trial for the broader cryptocurrency ecosystem remain uncertain. One thing is clear, though. 
The crypto world will be watching closely as this story unfolds, offering lessons and insights for the future of digital finance. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the fascinating world of crypto trading and its intricate web of relationships and secrets.